Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, your girl Kamis. I know you guys. I can't kill. I can't come and kill myself. Like I am so busy with my work, and now I'm less busy. So I'll try to be doing videos as much as I can, maybe once in a week. So today I want to give you an immigration alert. You know, if you're in Sweden as a foreigner and you don't have your permanent document, your heart is not settled. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow you don't know which rule will be changed that will affect your resident status and your you know yes because I have been there when I didn't have my permanent document so I know how it feels when you don't have your permanent residence or maybe you are not a citizen if you wish to become one but mostly we always want to start with the resident permit first I mean permanent residence permit for those who want to live here permanently now the immigration has now doubled the minimum salary requirement for work permits in sweden okay now you guys there's this i want to go through the article though i know this was um passed somewhere either last year or this year um early but i so that i, I will not be saying things that uh, it's not like the i don't know what i am saying so let me go to the article that has really summarized this so as of october 1st 2023 minimum salary requirements for work permits in sweden will be raised from thirteen thousand per month to 80 percent of the medium salary at the time of filling the application as of today's figures this means that as after october 1st 2023 uh, a work permit application may only be approved if the gross salary is at least 26,560, regardless whether the employee works full-time or part-time. So even if you're working part-time or you're working full-time, your salary has to be 26,500. So now let's see the background of how everything started. Guys, last year... Like I said, th last year, November 30, 2022, the Swedish parliament voted to allow the government to raise the minimum gross salary requirement to work permit at the time of their choosing. This, To this end, the Swedish government released a memorandum on the May 4th, 2023. Yes, I remember May 4th, 2023, detailing how and when the minimum salary is required to be raised. According to the current legislation for work permit in Sweden, the employer needs to offer employee a salary that ensures that they can sustain themselves. Mm -hmm. As part of the sustenance requirement, the migration agency decided to implement a minimum gross salary requirement of 13,000. Yeah, this minimum gross salary was considered too low by both the previous and current governments with wide parliamentary support. The belief is that it is necessary um, to raise the minimum salary requirement to avoid a, comp a competition of low salaries for immigrant workers to Sweden and to avoid exploiting of immigrant workers. Okay, By doing so, the government hopes to combat the serious issue of exploitative employees who hire foreign workers on salaries that are too low and to strengthen the rights and status of foreign workers in their Swedish labor market. Yes, Sweden doesn't joke with the labor uh, market. So one of those things that employees, employers have to do the right thing and employees have right and they are protected now because some companies employ people, even that some, some employers prefer getting workers outside Sweden because they know they're going to give them cheap labor. And this is what the government is trying to fight. And of course, we know they are also trying to reduce immigrants. Yes. To the, I'm, I'm reading this from Deloitte.se. is a legit article. So the Aliens Act has previously stipulated that a foreigner's employment should make it possible to sustain themselves. I mean, in Sweden, they all say moily hit at for seriously. However, this has been amended to instead say that the employment must make it 
possible to achieve good sustainers i mean good life you get good salary and you get good sustainers only that you're just earning a uh, thirteen thousand and you cannot even meet your bills you cannot even i mean even getting an apartment in sweden by earning thirteen thousand it's it's impossible I mean, houses are so expensive, and if you have a family, you guys will just be suffering. And that's why you see most uh, foreigners will come first and then bring their family later when they have good income. Because with 13,000, you can barely survive. You just be a poor human being, and that is just the truth. So that is why they are saying uh, that uh, they want to improve this and make it a good system sustainers okay by good sustainers the government says that this can vary over time but that it is necessary to have a salary which is at least 80,000 of the median salary published by the Swedish Central Bureau of Statistics the median salary published at the time of filling the work permit application should apply when a decision is made regardless of whether updated statistics have been published since the time of filling so you guys yes i don't want to bore you with a lot of history a lot of grammar but the main thing is like the rule of the salary minimum salary has been doubled from 13000 swedish crown to 26560 now tell me how many employers are ready to give uh, foreigners i mean work i mean <laughs> jobs of that 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 amount i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot of money so this is just to show you that if you have a work permit start looking for a new job because this will start in first of october and if you don't meet the requirement it means your work permit is you are denied so it's either you go back to the country where you came from and this is not good after you have suffered so many years. So it's time for you to look for a new job, look for new opportunities. And the problem is when it comes to work permit, you cannot say that you're going to have two jobs. You can only have one work and you use that work to apply for a Swedish work permit. So had it been that you can do two jobs, this would have been easy. And they say that regardless, you are doing 100% or 50% you must earn 26,560 per month for you to be able to attain a work permit and you guys and these 26,560 they are not even thinking whether you have a family or not so if you even now have a family and you wish to bring them to Sweden, you can imagine how much <laughs> and if you have kids it's, it's even more difficult so things are getting tight everything is becoming expensive sweden is trying to tighten their borders they are trying to increase you know change everything because as it is you guys nowhere is easy things are expensive um, and most of the time the government is trying to see how they can reduce foreigners and also make people have the same life and have a good standard of life and also stop these employers that exploit, you know. But, you know, sometimes the employees, they don't care. All they want is a, is a permit. And the Swedish government don't want that. They want everyone to be working because they don't want a liability in the system. Sweden government likes when you're working and you're paying tax. Then you are not a liab liability. You are, you are contributing to the economy so you guys yeah that's the update and yeah if you have not looked for a job please try to do that and this was said since last year so you still have uh, now in july august september october yeah i mean if you would have started to search earlier it would have been better but yeah do that because hmm, they said about 15,000 people don't have that. They have a low salary, which means they might leave or I don't know. Because, you know, the, the, the current government will start to do investigation. And most of the time, if companies are employ uh, foreigners, if they are caught under paying somebody, they pay huge fines. So I don't think any company want to risk their yeah, they are they are business because of all this. So yeah, things are going to to take another turn, and yeah, so it's high time you look for a, a better job if you if you if you want to 
get a permanent resident or otherwise i don't know how how it's going to happen yeah so you guys what do you think about this i mean a lot have been said a lot of voting and yeah but yes it is what it is finally the rule is going to be effective as from 1st october 2023